Don't know say. Unless you're Spanish last name of the day means I don't know. Oh, uh, Wazoo is here. Yeah, man, let's go talk to Waz and Nola. Nola's lifting weights. He's looking all swallow. It's Monday. It's app day for Nola. Uh, every day is app day. Every day is app day for Nola. Today is 30, 30 day for Nola. That's right. Nola, you're 30 years old, my friend? No, no, no. That's, that's six minutes straight of core. You can't stop. Uh, I'm scared. He's going to be getting all the abs. He's going to be doing planks. He's going to be doing crunches. Doing more planks. Followed by side planks, no, really followed by leg more. raises, followed by more planks. I said I'm gonna try it. How about the new guys? We are the new guys. You know what the rule is, is as many dumps as you take a day, that's how many bumps you gotta take a day. Who's the, who's the famous Gotch from the early 20th century wrestler? Last name Gotch. Why do we do Gotch? Muscle up. You know what happens in wrestling, in my opinion, if you don't know the history of wrestling, then you don't know the present of wrestling very well in your I think there's a lot of people in, in wrestling who only know the wrestling that they lived through. I'm gonna put you on top of this lock from here. You, my friend, are a losing horse. And you know what they do with losing horses. You better try to put me down. I'm gonna put you down. You act right. You ain't, you cannot. This is the Roddy Hartman show. I don't need you. I don't need them. Bray Wyatt socks for Mikey every night. He's a generous man. You hold this pocket again? No, I haven't been holding this pocket. He thought of me when he went to the thrift store. He said, Nolan likes The Undertaker. Probably likes Bray Wyatt too. So he got me a nice pair of socks of Bray Wyatt. And now I'm going home. Nolan, you're going to do abs tomorrow, right? Oh. Oh. That's it. That's the movement right there. Ready? It's going pretty good. Thank you, play, that's for sure. All day, every day. Hard work. I train at Backbreaker Training Center for about a year now, so I'm kind of trained, but I'm trying to come over here to get a little bit more like of the ring rust out of me. Um, been in, inactive for a little bit. It's a fun job, but it's still a job. I gotta work like everybody else. We wanna get paid. And you save your money. Uh, uh, listen, a title shot only lasts so long. There's gonna be some cat coming out next year looking like you, sounding like you, trying to bite off what you did. Thinking back to like years ago as a wrestler, I think I've always kind of wanted to train people. I've always kind of I've always had fun with, you know, showing people how to do stuff. And as I've trained people here more and more, it's it's become really rewarding and that I think the most valuable thing that I have to give pro wrestling is not as a wrestler in the ring, but it's as a trainer who can give some knowledge to people who can become maybe pretty big stars. Um, and I think that's extremely rewarding to watch somebody use the skills that I taught them from scratch and then they're having like, shit, they're not just having a presentable match, but they're having a good match. And that's like, oh man, that's the greatest thing in the world. I got involved in training wrestlers um, because I wanted to help the next generation in a way that I wasn't helped albeit being maybe a mentor or a father figure. Some of the things you, you deal with people's personal lives, you know, you realistically become a psychologist, a counselor, a friend, a, a brother, you know, you make some meaningful connections. But I wanted to train these guys to instill the sense of hard work. I can't stress enough how much hard work the work you put in means to professional wrestling. Maybe down the line when you get to know me a little bit more. Give my man Pete the meat a call. He ready to deliver that meat, Daddy. Yeah.